Good afternoon, Viva MK. Thank you for joining me today. And um, of course, thank you if you're watching this at another time. Um, before we go into the business update and so many things that I need to tell you, um, I'm astounded by the number of communications that I get about businesses being game changers. I mean, how many games are being changed out there? I am inundated with businesses telling me that they are a game changer. There is no such thing as a game changer. No such thing. I don't care who you are or where you are. And please do your research. I am not going to join your opportunity no matter what happens. I run an opportunity with some of the greatest people that can be in opportunities. I am not going to join your game changer. You see, game changing is great and I love the way you present yourselves. But the only game changer is the person involved because you can be part of the greatest, the biggest, the most powerful, the richest, but you'll achieve bugger all unless you do something about it. So game changing isn't a company. It isn't a compensation plan. It isn't even necessarily a product, although every now and again you do get a game-changing product that changes the entire world. But that doesn't happen very often. The real game-changer is the person that joins the business. It's you. You know, we've seen people make phenomenal successes out of nothing. We've seen monumental failures in businesses that were supposed to be game changers. So anyway, enough of the game changing emails, please. I am not going to join your business. And please, please do your research before you machine gun approach everybody on your contact list. It just doesn't work like that. But then who am I supposed to know anyway? Everyone seems to have the best opportunity. Everybody seems to have the game changer. Everybody seems to have the ground floor opportunity. Everybody seems to have the world changing system. But the thing is, like I say, the grass is always greener. Of course it is, but it's green is where you're going to water it and nurture it and look after it. So you will grow when you want to grow. And, you know, it boils down to believing in yourself and you can make anything work. Absolutely anything. You know, some of the greatest and biggest explosions in the commercial world came from absolutely nothing but determination, effort, perseverance, attitude, and a belief in oneself. And that's where the game changing happens. Game changing is when you start to believe in yourself. You believe in yourself. There is nothing that you can't achieve. Absolutely nothing. So you are the game changer. No businesses. It's you as an individual that can change any game. And look how many of you have changed the game within our little organization. You know, it's you that change the game, not what we do. You know, you change the game in our business. It's always down to you and the belief that you have. Anyway, it's the 18th of September, and other than being Kirsty's birthday, happy birthday, Kirsty. <laughs> other than being Kirsty's birthday, we're in the middle of September already. And I did promise you by the middle of September, you'd have the Christmas version, sorry, Christmas book for 2020, and the version two of the beauty book. You've got them both. You've got them both in your hands. That's if you've ordered them. You've got them both, and the majority of products are already live. Now, it's great that Christmas is out the way. The team have done a phenomenal job. Angela, the buying team and everybody behind the scenes that has so much to do with um, sourcing products, getting them into the catalogs, you know, everything that's concerned. You know, like I said to you before and like I said on Lynn's Zoom last night, you know, they've been working on that since April and they were working on products and listings and pages even when suppliers weren't even open. Suppliers were refusing to have conversations about Christmas because nobody knew what was going to happen for the rest of the year. But anyway, you've got the catalogs that I promised you. 
It's mid-September now and the first response is always the most powerful in any catalogue release. I've been releasing catalogues for over 20 years now, as you know, over 20 years. And I can categorically say um, it's not how good we say it is. It's how good you and your customer say it is. So the first response on Christmas um, is probably the most um, amazing response I've seen for a catalogue in almost a decade. Um, and that's uh, absolutely fantastic because that has passed the response test. That will mean uh, great sales, great incomes and a fantastic end to this very, very strange year that we're all in. In this twilight zone of a year we're all embroiled in, you know, at least we have the tools to make the year end very well. Uh, beauty 2, uh, Beauty version 2, you've seen that we've added a different range of products in there. Um, again, very experimental products and the first signs are that you really appreciate them, your customers appreciate them, but that was a great experiment for 2021 when we will increase that side of the product range and give you more and more and more of those products. And that's the great thing about having this small independent business where you're not just a distributor. It's just you and me, you see, we're in this together. You're not just another signed up distributor to another game changing company. This is an operation that we're building together almost from scratch. You know, um, we're building together, we're, we're planning it together and we're going forward together. Some of the things that I'm going to tell you at the showcase on the 3rd of October, which I'll talk about in a minute, are a direct result of talking with you, working with you and making decisions with you. Now, that's not because myself and my team cannot make decisions. We do that all the time. But there's nothing like speaking to the front end of the business that does business day in, day out. So many corporations get it so wrong when they don't listen to the people at the forefront of the business. This is a special game changer connection that we have. No other business has that connection where you can pick up the phone or send an email or send me a message and ask me to consider something and lo and behold we can consider that and in some cases we even follow through. That is a very unique uh, a connection that we have and even now um, I have an inbox full of other than of course come and join our opportunity that's game changing <laughs> other than that I have an inbox full of your recommendations and I'll tell you some of those recommendations are coming into fruition not only would you see that on October the 3rd but you'll see that as we go into 2021 when we look at new ranges new ideas but most importantly new concepts of products products that we've not tried before products that we can investigate products that we can trial products that we can see how they're going to go and then develop them from there this is the unique game game-changing um, scenario <laughs> that we have and I apologize for using that because I think I've become obsessed with it. I've seen it so many times one seems to think that everything they look at is a game-changer but like I say game-changing is down to the individual it's nothing to do with anything else you can change the game anywhere you don't have to be in the latest ground floor amazing product wonderful opportunity with the best compensation plan on the planet no you don't need that all it needs is for you to decide that you want to do something and that's where the magic happens. Not the company, but you. So, best response I've had to a Christmas catalogue in a decade. That's what I wanted to hear. That's what we all wanted to hear. We can sigh, uh, breathe a sigh of relief where that's concerned. Same with Beauty version 2. Um, now, of course, it's full steam ahead for spring, summer 2021. It's hard to believe that uh, we're already talking about spring summer 2021 when we're still in the twilight zone of 2020 but one way or another we will leave this year behind regardless of what's going on now as for the showcase as you know we wanted a live event on the 3rd of october a couple of weeks ago i decided no it's got to be a live stream we can't have a live event even though we've got a plethora of rooms booked um and that's because 
the guidelines on social distancing and everything else to do with COVID are changing all of the time. We could not take the risk of going ahead with a booking, get the production team in there and then being told we cannot have more than six people gathering or 30 people gathering at the bar. You know, so it just wasn't going to be a go. And nevertheless, I've got more dates for next year and I'll reveal those at the live stream showcase. Now, the live stream showcase will have a number of things happening. You've seen nine speakers that we've already revealed this week. You know, people at the top of their game-changing game, people who know what they're talking about, just everyday, ordinary people doing phenomenal things in our business. And there'll be nine of those just telling you what they've done, what they're doing, who they are, what they're about, and why they're in the business. So they're just De definitely worth watching. We have a special guest speaker, um, our 10th speaker on the day, a special guest speaker, um, again, you know, international keynote speaker, performance coach, um, well-known author. No, it's not Satwinder Sagu, um, but it is Paul McGee. Um, that's why I was reading Shut Up and Move On. If you have not read this book, you need to read it. It is a proclamation on today's age that we simply, in most circumstances, whether you're in a game changer or not, you need to shut up and move on. And this book tells you how to do that. It's a game changing book. And Paul McGee is a game changing international coach, performance coach, and of course, best selling author. And he is doing a special appearance for us just for us, um, and I'm delighted to host that. Um, and you will learn, uh, you know, a lot from this speaker. Some of you have seen him before. We've uh, we, we've hosted him before. Since then, he has obviously grown phenomenally in his empire, in his writing, and in, and and his performing. And he is definitely on a different game changing level now. So our tenth. And final speaker for the Autumn Showcase on the 3rd of October 2020 live stream at home will be the one and only Paul McGee. And if you haven't read this book, get hold of it. You really need to. And like I say, it's a proclamation. This was written a number of years ago, but it's a proclamation on modern times where we seem to uh, fall at first hurdles. We can't take the bends. I'm sure that's the right expression. We can't take the bends in the way we used to. We can't jump the turnstiles in the way we once were made to do. Um, and if there's anything some of us can do, and you're probably thinking the same that I should do, is simply shut up and move on. It's such a proclamation on life and moving forward and having the confidence to leave things behind that are no longer used to you and move forward. So Paul McGee, like I said, will entertain us on the day, specifically doing that for Viva MK. So I'll be delighted to host that. The showcase, like you already know, the link will be available next week. Uh, many of you ask, there's no charge. Obviously, there's no charge. We don't charge for that. Um, it's going to be in your living room, on your screens, on your laptops. Make sure you watch it. Make sure you share the link. You know, there's some great people from our network telling their story and then our guest speaker. As well as that, I will be revealing brand new products, brand new Viva MK products as well. Um, I'll be also talking about brand new product ranges, things that we just haven't tried before. New concepts, new products, new ideas, all coming to you on the 3rd of October. And this is the phenomenal thing that I keep telling you about. I'm going to stop using the expression game changer now because it's even beginning to annoy me and I really need to shut up and move on from that. But the point is, you know, some of the things I'm going to talk to you about on the 3rd of October really only came about from conversations uh, with you guys. And that is such a phenomenal and wonderful place to be that, you know, we can have those conversations and conversations actually turn into product development. Product development turns into sales. You know, the turnaround 
that we can get is quite unbelievable. The candles was a great example of that. There's some of those new ones coming your way too as well, which I'll reveal on the 3rd of October. But that was such a great example. You know, a link created by one of you, um, an idea that came from a number of you, and we chased it up, we connected with a small supplier, not only boosted their business massively, but boosted ours and branded it ourselves. But that's product development, that's product innovation, that will grow, that was just our first stage. Same goes with the virucidal cleaner, uh, the manufacturer wanted a domestic market and we connected with them. Again, the idea came from some of you and the, certainly the same goes for the eco-friendly, uh, planet-friendly products that we created, which as you know, are as good as any products out there, if not better in some cases. Again, a connection created with an independent supplier who specifically wanted to be in the domestic market, saw the power that you bring with your demo videos and everything you do, and wanted to partner with us so that we could sell their products through our brand. Um, you know, that is all a consequence of this unique, I'm not going to say those words, this unique connection that we have, you and me, you, me and the team, me and the team and you, I think you've got the combination right now, but that connection that doesn't have layers and layers and layers of people to go through. You know, even in the past and in other organizations I've worked for, never have you been able to take an idea and develop it in a matter of weeks. You know, in most companies, you require masses of board approval, people to sign off, jobs worth to say yes, um, red tape to cut through, bureaucracy to go through, um, you know, and it never, ever happens. And I've been witness to that. So we're in a great situation here. So I've got some incentive results to give you as well before I forget, before I keep waffling on about um, what a unique connection we have. So we did... A, a an incentive based on growth. So people that were growing in the business period to period. So we have three main winners and we have a prize draw. So in my little black box here, my pretty little black box, I have all the entrants and I'll pick out three of these people and these are £50 winners. So three £50 winners from this box of entries that you can see there. So let me just see, let me see if I can mess this up. And the first name is Sarah and Rachel Patterson. Congratulations to you ladies. Um, you're the first winner of the 50 pounds prize and basically means you did grow the business period on period. Let me just uh, slip out a second one from my little black box. And what do I have here? It's Alison and Andrew Millen. Congratulations to you as well, uh, Alison and Andrew Millen, number three. Um, again, stick my hand into this little black box and see what I can pull out. And here we go. Oh, um, here we go. It is David Quincy. Well done, David. I know you've only been the ba uh, back in the business a couple of periods. You're setting it on fire already. Congratulations to you, the third winner of our £50 prize um, and that's simply for um, growing your sales period on period. I have three other winners um, which is three two one of the highest percentage growth that has happened in the business. In position three is Jim Moynihan. Um, you increased your sales by £1,377.99. Congratulations to you, Jim. That's absolutely fantastic. Uh, in position number two, with an increase of £1,728.36p, an incredible increase, and a £100 winner, Stephen Smith. Congratulations to you, Stephen. Great to see you, uh, you know, once again at the top of the business really love seeing your name there. I hope you're both very well. Our final number one winner, first winner with a £200 prize with an increase of £3,080 and 59 pence. No big surprise there. Janet Lyle and Steve Reese, congratulations to you. Phenomenal winners and all you've really done is increase your sales period on period and bear in mind as you're increasing your sales you're making money 
from the business anyway. So congratulations to you all. So, I mean, there's a lot for me to tell you when we're at the showcase. So I don't want to give too much more away now. Just make sure, and the link will be with you next week. Make sure you tune in. We're coming to you in your home. You don't even have to go anywhere. You can just sit there in your lounge and watch the showcase. Nine incredible speakers from uh, our network. The beauty brand directors have their fantastic input too. The odd mystery guests, as far as I'm being told, that I don't know about yet, because it's even a mystery from me. And of course, our incredible keynote speaker, author of the best-selling proclamation of modern times, shut up and move on. Um, so you really need to be there um, where everything will be happening and we'll pave the way, not only for the rest of 2020 as we leave the twilight zone, but as we go into 2021 and further ahead. Um, I'll also give you the date for the showcase when I hope we can get together. Um, being Looking at venues, there they are desperate to get our business to, to turn up and uh, leave a mess like we normally do. Um, but of course, with government guidelines, we have to be very wary of what's actually going on. You know, so no illegal raves here. Um, as far as lockdown measures and so on is concerned, I know it's a ever-changing landscape as every day goes by. We'll obviously keep an eye on that and advise accordingly because at the end of the day, whatever we feel about the risk of coronavirus or whatever we've suffered with it or whatever has happened, the fear of it is still there. And like I said to you months and months and months ago, far beyond the, the health ramifications of it is the fear of the virus. So, you know, let's be very wary of that. You know, keep doing what you're doing. Try keeping your distance as much as possible. You don't need me to tell you that. Everybody's saying the same. Um, but as we have a full frontal contact business, or at least a large percentage of it is, just be very, very wary of that contact and make it very clear that not only are you using clean and sanitized bags, but you're doing everything you possibly can to keep yourself and your customers safe. And remember, this isn't necessarily because the virus is so dangerous. Yes, it is, but it's not necessarily because of that. This is about perception and the perception and the fear of the virus is far greater probably than the, 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 the power of the virus itself. Although none of us really know what the real score is there. So just please, please be as safe as possible. The next time I will see you will be at the showcase on the 3rd of October, two weeks tomorrow at midday, broadcasting right into your home. Um, and we'll try and give you everything you need to make sure that, not that we're a game changer. See, I couldn't resist it. I cannot resist it. Not that we're a game changer. No, we're not. The game changer is the individual that makes the decision that they want to achieve something, the decision that they can believe in themselves and they have the belief that they can go forward. So, in my humble opinion, every single one of you is a game changer. And on that, I will say goodbye, have a fantastic weekend, and I look forward to seeing you on the 3rd of October. Please be there. Goodbye.